If you're looking for a new pair of headphones, stick around with me for a few minutes to find out if these are right for you. This is my Meze 99neo headphones review. Now the Meze 99neo headphones that I have right here are available for pre-order. The link will be in the description below. The sample that I have is just a review unit. Uh, so if you've never heard of Meze, they're an audio company out of Romania who is focused on making high quality professional headphones for people who not only appreciate sound quality, but aesthetics and design as well. Now the 99neo headphones are just a more affordable version of the 99 classics, which are Meze's higher end professional headphones that they're probably the most popular headphones that that they sell and the 99 classics are over $300 and the 99 neo starts off at $249 so you're saving around $60 US uh, by going with the neo and the two main differences between the two are the 99 neo instead of the ear cups being made of real walnut like on the 99 classics which definitely made them unique and stand out the 99 neo headphones the ear cups are made out of ABS plastic. So that's the biggest factor in the price difference. You're not getting the real walnut wood with the 99 Neo headphones. The other main difference between the two is that on the 99 Neo headphones, you're getting an impedance of 26 ohms. So the 99 Neo headphones have fewer ohms, which just means they require less power to deliver high audio levels. Other than that, they're pretty much the exact same. Uh, so if you uh, don't have a budget that is at least $300 and you're looking for something that is less than $300, more like around $250, the 99neo is a great option. I have the black and silver model of the 99neo, so let's open up the box and I'll show you what you get. Inside there is a very convenient and protective hard shell case with a zipper to keep it closed. Inside the case there is the 99neo headphones themselves, which we'll go over in just a second. And then you have a small pouch that contains two detachable Kevlar cables, one that is almost four feet long and one that is almost 10 feet long, both with microphones built in, and along with two adapters, one being a 6.3 millimeter gold plated jack. Now I'm definitely not an audiophile, so I'm not obsessed with specs when it comes to my headphones, but I will share with you the 99neo specs. So you can see on the box that it shows you the transducer size, frequency response, sensitivity, impedance, like I mentioned before, and some power info along with the weight. Now let's talk about the build quality on the 99neo headphones. These are contemporary closed back high fidelity headphones. They feel very sturdy and you can see that they are well designed. Now a polarizing feature for some will be the cast zinc alloy outer band that kind of sticks out a bit and could be a nuisance if you're a tall person like me and you're in the backseat of a car or something with a low ceiling and like the tops of the bands are brushing up against that ceiling. Uh, however, they're made like this because they have a really nice feature which is the self adjusting headband which is designed to fit any head size without having to deal with notches like the ones that are on my Audio-Technica ATH M50s, for example. The 99neo headphones are a bit tighter on the sides of my head than my ATH M50s, but that's probably because they're just newer and have been worn a lot less. But the soft cushion ear pads, which are made of medium density memory foam, are very comfortable, and I can wear these for hours without getting a headache or anything like that. They do have a fairly tight seal, so they help drown out any noise on the outside, and you definitely feel like you're in your own head. And if I do wear them for hours, I can feel my ears starting to get sweaty, so keep that in mind but they're definitely made of premium materials. One thing to note is that the ear cups cannot swivel like the ATH M50s, which would be handy if you want to listen to one ear cup DJ style, but it doesn't affect me since I don't use them that way anyway. You will notice that these say 99 classics on the top of the headband when really it should be 99 neo that's just because this is a sample unit if you do order these you will get the official release and it will say 99 neo now let's talk about the sound quality of the 99 neo headphones i'm definitely not an audiophile like i said before i mainly use over ear professional headphones to edit my audio for my films and my youtube videos and to listen to music mostly over spotify Compared to the Audio-Technica ATH M50s, which are probably the most popular professional headphones under $200 and have been my go-to headphones for the past few years, the 99neo headphones sound pretty much just as good. They produce natural audio, they sound crisp with a clean, full sound, and one of my favorite things to do with the 99neo headphones is to listen to Neutral Milk Hotel, because if you don't know Neutral Milk Hotel, they use a lot of instruments in their songs, and the slightest whistle that I wasn't able to hear like over my Bluetooth speaker, uh, it sounds really nice and clear through these headphones. Phones. It really does make the listening experience that much more enjoyable. The mids are clear, everything is balanced. However, the one thing that jumped out to me at first listen was just how deep and more powerful the bass seemed to be on the 99neos compared to my ATH M50s. That was the biggest difference when I compared the two, and for that I was listening to my favorite album of 2017 so far, which is Kendrick Lamar's new album, I'll call it 
dang to keep it family friendly. Maybe dag nab it for some of you. Those songs on that album have some pretty powerful bass and uh, when I was sw swapping back between the two, between my 99 Neos and my ATH and 50s, the 99 Neos just seemed to have a more powerful bass. Uh, it was just booming. And it wasn't distorted either. It wasn't like overly powerful. It wasn't making everything distorted. It still sounded great. It just had a little more umph. So if you are looking for a little bit more bass in your headphones, but not too much bass like Beats, you don't want to go that route, but you want some nice professional studio quality headphones that have a balanced sound, but have just a little bit deeper bass than the ATH M50s, the 99 Neos seem to be perfect for that. So the Audio-Technica ATH M50s are now the M50Xs. I just don't have that newer model yet. However, they're still right at that $150 range, which is $100 cheaper than the Meze 99 Neo headphones. But they do look cheaper as well because they are very plasticky. If you have a budget that's below $200 and you specifically want headphones that just have one cable coming out of one ear cup other than uh, on the 99 Neo, which has two cables coming out, if that is somehow some, something you really want in headphones, you probably want to check out the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. But if you like a slightly more powerful bass with the same audio quality with a more pleasing design and build, then check out the Meze 99 Neos. I actually think I'll be keeping the 99 Neos and selling my Audio Technicas mainly because I like the 99 Neo sound quality, the self-adjusting headband, and the shorter detachable cables. That's what did it for me. Maybe it'll do it for you as well. Again, the link to order these will be in the description. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. My name is Andy, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.